Hey everybody, so I'm cutting down the uh, width of the this uh, fan panel. I did the math. I already cut this area so I can move the clamp. What I have set up on the back, and I'll show you after I remove the plate, is I have 5 8 wide parallels that are in the can't see it that are in the T-slot groove. Then I have two, three, four blocks, or sorry, two, four, six blocks pushed up against those, which are clamped down. And then the plate is clamped to those blocks. That way I can go across the surface, and I'm cutting from the side. I'm not cutting downwards, I'm cutting from the side in. And the end mills do a lot better like that. Uh, and then when I squared the head, because I had the head, I had the head tilted over, and I squared that with those same parallels that were in the 5 8 T slot, and I ran the indicator across that to confirm that the head was square. So the zero mark at the and the column you probably can't pick it up in the camera, but all the angles are uh, etched on it and the zero mark is very accurate. So I'm going to do this area on the camera and then I'll have to do this side of the clamp. So I'm going up to the clamp, then I'll move the clamp and do this end. And then I have a little bit left at the front end that I'll have to get creative with. I'll probably have to take the vise off and slide it over. Right now the vise is in place and it's all the way shoved to the end. It's, but, because I don't like taking it off if I don't have to. Uh, I do try not to keep it just hanging off like when the mill sits, because that's not good for the mill. But it's not good for my back to keep taking that on and off. So let's uh, adjust the camera again. So I'll do this real quick. Again, I'm not using the power feed because mine doesn't work properly, but I am using my rag at the handle, and that makes it like a speed handle. It's a lot better in your hands. Okay, so I'm taking off 50 thousandths per pass. I'm using that real nice rougher, and I'm like 500, 530 RPM. Okay. Hopefully I'm out of your way. Yep. So go in. The other thing to mention is that the plate is down inside the T-slot groove, which is about an inch depth to minimize the amount that's sticking up above the 246 blocks. So that all worked together and that helps secure it some too. Okay, another 50 thou in. This is uh, 3 8 thick plate. It's cranking real easy with this rag, so I don't mind doing it. This is 
fallen. Let me see if you're all the way zoomed in. Yep. Okay. Another 50, that puts us at 250. So we're at 300 thou right now, the plate thickness is 375, so I'm going to go 100 thou more, which puts us at 400 to do a final pass. That's right, so I'm going to go a little more, I'm going to go 450. is fine with the bottom of the rougher. It's not too warm, a little bit of heat. Being that I went that direction for the final cut, I do have some heavy burrs, but they'll come off with the file. Again, if you, for minimal burrs, you want to go clockwise. So final cut should have been going this way and cut across. So my first cut so we're from this side, so there's very minimal burrs here. But I have more burrs on that side because I went that way instead of this way. Okay, so real quick, the show we're just going to reposition this clamp. So I'm just repositioning it. I know you can't see it right now, but I'm repositioning it along another section of that 6 inch to 246 block. So they're laying this way, so the 6 inch is the width. So how it is is got the block starting right here to here, some daylight, then block from here to here. see how this behaves. I'll keep it on camera. It may want to flutter because I don't have another clamp like I did at that end. Let's see. find out, won't we? Make sure I'll crank from this end. Okay, so we're gonna go in. 50 thou. I get a feel for the vibrations. Vibrations are happy. So normally I would put 
push through that, but since the vibrations are heavy, you know, I'm getting a, a feeling that by the time I get to this end, it's going to give me some grief. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift the part so that now the part is, the section that I have left to cut is covered by the, supported by the 246 block. And you don't need to see that. So I'll come back. Thank you. So I do have the, I did remove the plate so I could clean up the chip so I can shift the plate. So here's the setup. 246 blocks. Let's make sure I'm trying to look in the viewfinder. Come on, I got you. Ah, shop is so tight. Come over the top. Okay, right here. These are 5 8 wide parallels, so they go right in the T slot. So they work as a backstop for anything including these two, four, six blocks. And you can see I have clamp at each end using, using this, God, using this uh, single uh, block setup for the two clamps and then there. So, and then the part sticks down in the T-slot groove. Okay, so I'll be back.